I'm now in the heart of the Congress Center. There's plenty of action that will happen over the next 24 hours right behind me where there's not just massive security, but this is really where the heart of pipeline will remain in terms of big panels, key guests, speakers, thought leaders, social entrepreneurs, and everyone who's going to be here. What this entire piece really will end up being is like an entire sort of console where all the, single, all the most important panels will happen. Some of these panels, of course, are clearly opened uh, to media. Many of them are led by Indian co-chairs as well. It, it's a big piece because this is where the heart of the World Economic Forum debates will lie. Most of these are going to be, of course, broadcast live to you as well. But if you look at some of the key issues, they're all going to be raised here as the World Economic Forum puts, has put up this Congress Center absolutely brand new for the 2011 uh, annual meeting. At Davos, every year we've seen several key touch points. So there is going to be a lot of live activity in terms of reporters, just like I'm coming to you right now. There's going to be plenty of points here across the entire Congress Center. In fact, as, we, as I speak, we're showing you this map which shows how many levels this Congress Center has been made up at. So you've got a basic level where you've got some of the key events happening. Then you've got a second level which actually sees a lot of one-on-one -on -one bilaterals happen. If you notice, we've got people like uh, of course, Timothy Geithner, who's meeting up with Chanda Kocher in the next 48 hours or so, having a key discussion about American business. Then we're likely to see Kamal Nath and Christian Lagarde of uh, France. She's France's finance minister. Them have a small bilateral. So plenty of bilaterals that will happen right here. Klaus Schwab has already said that there are key discussions that are likely to happen during the World Economic uh, Forum this time at the Congress Center are a whole lot to do with the fact there's a need to sustain and rebalance the world economy. Part of this rebalancing has a lot to do with just the rise of emerging powers and the weakness in terms of growth that's coming into the global markets that's largely led by the developed world. So one will see a lot of activity here. What I can tell you is that even though this is inside away from snow, a lot of cold wars that are likely to play out here because the idea is to thaw the economic thinking, but given that America is focused on market, Europe is focused on debt and emerging markets on opportunity, all of this play out we'll actually see right here at the heart of the Congress Center. I'll be reporting live every day just like I am today, but this is really the report about the way the Congress Center has been laid out.